hey beautiful people welcome or welcome back to the channel it's there here and in today's video we're going to be talking about practical steps in which you can employ to help you book faster Schengen visa appointment date I'll also be walking through with you the important documents you need for your Schengen visa if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is Dayo Goodness and I am your captain <laughs> On this channel, I vlog about life in the UK, nursing and my travel adventure. If you are new to my channel, I've already done series of videos on Schengen visa, so please check them out as well. After making a couple of videos about Schengen visa, I have received loads of questions regarding getting Schengen visa appointment dates because it is really a hustle right now. Dates are sold out. As a matter of fact, my friend was supposed to go for an important meeting in France but there is no appointment. Spain is even the worst. There is no appointment for Spain on the internet. Like you literally cannot get appointment right now. But guys, hang on. I am here to share with you good news and I'll be giving you tips and tricks to get a faster Schengen visa appointment. Now let's get into tips on how you can actually get a faster Schengen visa application date. The very first thing you have to do is to make sure you book well ahead of time. Guys, this is a very good rule for you to follow. If you know you're going to be traveling, guys, please book ahead of time and avoid booking applications during peak season. When I applied for my last visa, I applied when it was back in February, okay? And I had to get a premium date as well because it was really really hard to get a date at that time because we're just coming out of covid right so a lot of people have been booking for travel booking for visa application and all that so it was really a hassle so just imagine now that we are no longer in the heat of covid and everyone is traveling and it is summer guys i have seen on the website that they also put out visa appointment date whenever it is 10 a.m in the morning okay so when it's 10 a.m in the morning that's when they put out new visa appointment slots so always check your portal when it's 10 o'clock in the morning to see if there's any new date that will fit your schedule another thing you can do is to try ringing them there's no harm to try ring them to see if you can get a faster appointment date especially in the case of emergency but the good thing for international students is that you have your passport with a minimum validity of three months do not forget you need two photo card of you taken within the last six months another thing you need to not forget is the fact that you need a travel insurance i always say this that medical insurance is different from a travel insurance you need a travel medical insurance guys i use station travel insurance i have a link in my description guys always read my description because i have goodies for you people but ah Check my description box, you're going to see all the things you need for your visa application, literally. And then, you need to have a minimum cover of 30,000 euro, okay? Do not make that mistake to get a lesser amount, you will get your visa denied. The next thing you need for your visa application to be successful is your return ticket, so tow and fro tickets for your visa to be approved. Make sure you already reserve your flight, you do not have to pay, guys. So if you're an international student, just contact trip visa to help you with all these documents the next important document you need is your hotel reservation if you're going to stay with a family or friend they need to write all that you need to get their letter and their address to support your application but other than that guys to just save you the stress just apply for a hotel reservation the next thing you need is a bank statement the bank statement is very very important i would say a minimum of 1000 to 3000 pounds should be okay for your stay it depends on your duration so check the country you are going to be applying for what their rule about money is but i think if you have a minimum of a thousand pounds in your account you should be fine want to make sure on your bank statement is the fact that it is signed and stamped by the bank now do not go online and download these things because definitely we can but make sure it is a hard copy signed and sealed by your bank that's the only way they are going to accept it if you are a student you need a letter from a school stating that you are enrolled in the college or university and that you are a student you provide them your student id card anything to prove that you are a student of that school okay so get your school to write an official letter if you are employed get your employer to write a letter of no objection stating that you are lawfully employed in this 
organization and you will be on annual leave during this period and this is your salary a stamp and an official signature should clear you with a no letter of objection another thing you need to bear in mind is your Shingen visa application form needs to be filled in correctly correctly with no errors because if anything is not matching your international passport or your travel date or your visa type okay what visa are you traveling for are you going for a tourist visa make sure it is matching your itinerary otherwise they're going to deny your visa try apply for multiple entry as well because at the end of the day you want to go through every Shingen country if you have a single entry you cannot go to the next Shingen area except just the one you applied so that's why I always tell people, fill in multiple entry, you will always be given the visa. So I hope with these tips, you'll be able to book your Shingen visa application faster, as well as you'll be able to get a faster date. Please let me know in the comment section if you've been trying to get Shingen visa appointment and it's not been going through successfully. Don't forget when you're going for your visa application, get all your original documents. They will not take any photocopy, guys. Make sure they are all original copies so you do not miss out your slot. You can pay your visa application online or you can pay at your appointment date. There is no rule about this. Any of them works. So please make sure that you submit your application and go to your appointment on time. I hope this will help you prepare for your visa application. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.